easiest analogy is cap and trade because there was a fair debate about cap and trade as it went through the House. Of course, it hasn't gone through the Senate yet. But, um, and the estimates in Virginia of the cost to a family were somewhere between one and three thousand dollars a year. Direct cost paying for you know, the higher prices you're going to see in a lot of products. And um, the greenhouse gas finding of December 15th is more extensive than the cap and trade bill and is going to be implemented faster than the cap and trade bill. So the hit on the economy and the elimination of jobs and opportunity is going to be an accelerated version of cap and trade. And without any scientific basis to demonstrate that we're going to get an environmental benefit of any kind. The piece that we're dealing with is the rulemaking related to the regulation in those vehicles for the first time of CO2 emissions and the, the, and the five other greenhouse gases identified. Um, that's what's new. So we, at the, I mentioned suing the EPA with Texas and Alabama and so forth. At the same time, we petitioned the EPA directly to reopen their process. They have the ability and the authority to do that themselves. And um, there's the legal standard for reopening the process has three prongs to it. One, new information has to have come out since the close of the public comment period. Well, clearly, new information, the public comment period closed last August. If you just look at the climate gate emails, um, that's an awful lot of new information. Clearly, that information goes right to the heart of the rationale for the finding. Um, and that was otherwise unavailable during the public comment period. It didn't answer us. Now, this is a common tactic for the EPA, and I'll get to more of it in a moment. But uh, when they issued the rule, Wednesday, we took that as a rejection of our petition. I mean, why? So, in the next week or so, we will file a notice of appeal, um, which is what we originally filed. It, it's very hard to overturn agency action. The legal standard is extraordinary. The deference by courts to agencies is extraordinary. Um, but the but ignoring our petition <coughs> to reopen their record, I told you the three prongs. And I think a pretty straightforward case can be made that those three prongs have been met. So they have subjected themselves, in my view, to an easier legal standard for us to meet. It will be interesting to see how that plays out in the court, because unlike most agency action, there they've set us up a bit, really they've set themselves up, um, for, the, for a potentially easier shot at getting them to reopen the record.